Hey guys, welcome back. So excited today. I will be making this delicious bread that I got from my mom, who she got from her mom. Been making it for years with the kids. It's a delicious caramel apple bread. I'm so excited about it. Let's go over these delicious ingredients. Your favorite apples, eggs, butter, heavy cream, flour, brown sugar, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, canola oil, vanilla extract, baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. All right, so to start off, let's start cutting into our apples. We're gonna dice them up, use your favorite apple. Mine happened to be Honeycrisp, but use what you like. I'm gonna use about three, which should probably be enough. Um, go ahead and peel them first, and then we're gonna dice them up into small little cubes. Let's get started. So with your fruit peeler, go ahead and remove all the excess skin from your apples. So once you've removed all your skin, now we'll be dicing our apples into small little cubes. All right, so those apples were actually on the larger side, so I really didn't need all three of them. I used two and maybe just like a quarter of the third. You only need about three and a half cups. So I'm gonna go ahead, set these aside, and we're gonna start making the batter right now. Let's begin by adding one and a half cups of vegetable oil, a half a cup of brown sugar, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, On low speed, go ahead and mix everything together while dropping in three eggs. Next, I will slowly be adding in three cups of flour to your mix. Once your batter has combined and become sticky, go ahead and add in two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Next, I'll be adding in a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Then I'll be adding in one teaspoon of baking soda and then a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, so as you can see, this batter is not your typical like liquidy, like a cake or thin. It's gonna be on the thicker, closer to more like a dough. It's gonna actually, when you start pouring the batter into your bread pan, it's what's gonna hold the apples together so they don't sink to the bottom. It's gonna be delicious, you just wait. So now, what we're gonna do is after I get all this off of here, we're gonna start adding our apples and you're gonna mix them by hand and then we're gonna throw in our vanilla. All right, so now, right before you drop your apples in, make sure you got your oven preheating for 325. You're gonna to wanna to grab your little bread pans. I like the silicone ones because it makes it a lot easier. I'm still gonna add a little bit of nonstick spray. So go ahead and spray that and then start adding your apples. Next, I will be adding two teaspoons of vanilla extract, then I'll be adding in three and a half cups of those delicious apples. So once everything is nice and combined, then we will go ahead and start scooping in everything into your bread pan. Go ahead and fill about three quarters of the way up with your apple mixture. Okay, so that looks good. Now I just like to throw on, Grandma didn't tell me to do this, but we love sugar here. So I'm just gonna throw a little more brown sugar on the top so that way it just 
gives it a nice little brown sugar crust. It's super yummy. You don't have to do it, but it's good. And just kind of sprinkle a little on top. All right, so now grab a baking sheet, throw your bread pan right on top. And then we're going to throw it in the oven and bake it at 325 for about an hour and a half. Ooh, you should smell this fresh out of the oven. So now we're going to take our bread and we're going to let it cool on our cooling rack. Alright, so while our bread is cooling on the rack, let's start making that delicious caramel frosting. In the top of our double boiler, over simmering water, we will heat a half a cup of brown sugar, one third cup of heavy cream, and then I will be adding in one fourth cup of butter. Go ahead and whisk while boiling, then we will remove and cool. Once everything has cooled, I will be adding in a dash of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, I will be adding in one cup of powdered sugar. Go ahead and beat everything together until nice and smooth. All right, so now, the fun part is to put all this delicious caramel frosting, just drizzle it over the top and let it ooze over the sides. It's gonna be so good. All right, so let's start adding that caramel to the top of your bread. And it's very important that you are not shy with this caramel drizzle. Make sure to cover it all over. All right, doesn't this look delicious? Trust me, it smells delicious. You guys are going to love this. This is great for breakfast, lunch, it's good for dinner, it's good anytime. So normally I suggest you should let this cool and keep it in the refrigerator overnight or before you're gonna serve. That way the caramel gets like a nice hard caramel cover over the, the bread. But for right now, I'm starving and I wanna try this, so I'm gonna cut a little slice off and eat it. So here we go. Yum, so good. It's like a cinnamon apple pie, but in a bread. It's so good, you're gonna love it. All right, I hope you guys love this video. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, head over to all my social media and check out the Jen and Gina show. Don't forget to stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this recipe and you wanna keep cooking, go ahead and click the button right here with Jen. If you wanna start drinking, go see my girl Gina and click the button here. If you haven't yet already subscribed, that's okay, just click the button right here. See you guys soon.